Today our conversation is with San Jose State uh, defensive coordinator Kent Bear and uh, Kent, uh, thanks for being with us. Uh, My pleasure. How's the, uh, you know, now that camp is pretty much over, uh, what do you say the defense is uh, progressing this fall? You know, it, fortunately we've gone through pretty unscathed, you know, not, not many injuries. We lost Joe Negos, which is tough. Uh, but we've had the little bumps and bruises, but nothing, uh, nothing serious other than Joe. Uh, and I think everybody's going to be full go and healthy again by tomorrow or the next day. So, uh, but overall, I think it's gone well. We've got a lot of reps. We're trying to bring some guys along to develop some depth in the defense on every position, defensive line, linebacker, and secondary. Got a lot of young kids in the second team defense, so uh, they've had a ton of reps, and uh, it's just something we're still progressing. But I think we're much further ahead now than we've ever been. Uh, is it a case that uh, maybe if you put it, put it to a percentage term, how much of the defense is uh, installed uh, at this point? <laughs> well, we installed everything in the first five days, which is kind of, that's a tough deal. That's hard. Uh, yeah, you know, there's always little things that we put in. We put a couple things in today, preparing for Stanford. But we haven't finalized any game plan at all by any means. We'll have it done the next couple of days and start doing work on the next couple of days. But just some things we've seen on tape. We installed some things today. So there'll always be a handful of new things every week. But the general basics of it all, and I say basics, a lot of stuff has been installed in the first five days, and we just wrapped up and kept back. You know what? From, uh, from one point of view, it looks like, uh, at least with uh, those who appear to be in the first group right now, you, you've got, uh, got a lot of veterans in that, uh, in that first group, guys who, who have started, and it's not a case of uh, maybe having five or six guys who will have to start the first game of the season. Well, we really do. I mean, you look at our defensive ends. There's David Tui Tupo, who's played a lot of football. I, don't know if, I think he may have started one or two games last year. Travis Johnson has started, seems like he's been here a long time, fifth or fourth year starter. Uh, tremendous football player. Uh, getting a lot of preseason accolades, which he deserves. Uh, Travis Rossini, you know, is coming back as a sophomore. Had a great year last year as a freshman. He's just getting better, better, better. And Anthony Larson will up front, you know, and Anthony just, not, in my opinion, last year, Anthony was one of our most improved players here ago. You got those three linebackers who played a tremendous amount of football. You know, Derek Moabit, our outside backer, Vince Bullwasher at the mic, and then, uh, you know, Keith Smith at Will. And those guys have had a lot of football. I don't know how many starts they've had but amongst the three of them, but it's a lot. Uh, you know, Vince and Keith basically started two straight years as true freshmen and sophomores. They'll be juniors, and Moabit will be a sophomore eligibility-wise. And then the secondary, you got James Orth, who's you know, started a lot of football for us over the years. Colin Newsom, who started some games last year for us and played tremendous. Ronnie Hill, who started a lot of games as a corner. And then, you know, we're not quite sure who the other corner is going to be. A lot of ro guys rotate through there, but Vene Ben Wickery has played a lot of football and he's played out there. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Ogburn has played there some. So we got a lot of guys that have played a lot of football, but the biggest key is that, you know, you got to stay healthy and you just still got to, to have to develop some depth. One of the characteristics about uh, last year's team was that San Jose State uh, tied for first in the country and uh, forcing fumbles. And uh, it seems like uh, one of the points that Coach McIntyre made uh, this fall is that, uh, hey, let's keep that going, uh, at least on the defensive side. Well, it's true. I mean, that's something that, that uh, Coach Mack has always believed in and has worked on it throughout his career. And it follows exactly what I've done through our career and my career. I mean, I know when I was in other places, uh, you know, many times when I was in the Pac-10, we led the league in fun recoveries. I think part of that, part of that is you're teaching it all the time. You're teaching them how to strip. You're conscious of it all the time. Yeah, you know, and then, uh, it just you know, it seems like once you get a few, everybody keeps wanting to get more, and it just kind of builds like a wildfire. That's part of it. You work on it. You you you, you make a big deal of it when you strip the football, and and they're also you know working on catching the ball and intercepting the ball. I think we had 33 turnovers total a year ago, which is tied for fifth in the country. I think we we're number one or tied for number one in most fumbles recovered. The you know, key is how many times can we get the ball on the ground and then how many can you recover. That's the key because if you're flying to the football and you're playing hard, you're going to get more than your share. That's part of what we're doing. So it's been a tremendous, you know, to me, you know, the way the game has changed over the last, you know, 10 years especially, uh, the takeover turnover ratio is maybe the number one key in football because offenses are so good now. They spread the field. It's hurry up. You know, they get so many different, so many plays. And 
so it's that's key that we get the ball for our offense in key field positions. Not only that, we'd like to score some touchdowns defensively too. Continue to work on that. I think we had a couple of year ago, but we'd love to get more than that. And I'd love to be in the 40s. You know, that's hard to do. Uh -huh. You know, you'd love to say you get three turnovers a game. Well, we were three shy of that a year ago. We had 33. We'd love to be in at 36 or more. So. Well, certainly that. Uh, was evident in the uh, preseason games last weekend with uh, San Jose State's Carly Anacho and uh, Justin Cole. Uh, both of them, for their respective teams, uh, had a strip sack uh, yeah. turnover. Yeah. Well, you know, when they were here, we preached the same thing. You know, and in fact, I saw Carl today. He was here, and and I said, "Hey, man, great job! I saw you on TV," and he was all excited. And I said, "Yeah, you're still doing it, still stripping it, coach." You know, so it's something that they work on too, and they preach, and so. You know, that's, that, that just wins football games. When you can do that uh, and get turnovers, man, that just creates a lot of havoc for, you know, the opposing offense you're playing against, and then it just gives your offense a lot of great field position. You know, getting back to uh, this year's uh, defense, uh, you've, you've coordinated a lot of defenses through the years, and you're still a young guy, by the way. I am a young guy. I'm going to do it a lot more years. And, uh, Many you more. know, do you uh, kind of look for your defenses to uh, acquire a personality uh, during the course of the year? And if so, does uh, this year's defense uh, uh, exhibit a personality to you right now? I think they're developing the personality. I think a lot of it comes from the coaches, but it also comes from their camaraderie. You know, I think they build it. Uh, you know, it starts uh, uh, last spring and they, or you know last winter and the. You know, Susan's season was over. And the season was over, just in the terms of winter workouts, and then they start to develop during spring ball. And then when I think they really begin to do it uh, is when the coaches aren't around them; they have to work out our own on their own in the summer. You know, and then when we come in camp, we obviously have some things that we talk to them about it. You know, if you ask our defensive kids, you know, uh, what I like, the first thing they say is, "I love tough guys." You know, I love tough guys. I love tough guys. I love football. I love to hit. And, fly around and you know, love the game. So and, you know, I think they're really developing personality right now, but you never know until you play first game. You know, they play against your offense every day and against each other, so they're about ready to hit somebody, somebody else here pretty quick. Are you uh, anxious to start another season? I am anxious. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to do it. This, I'm excited about this group. I'm excited, I'm excited about this football team, and I'm excited about this coaching staff. I mean, Coach Max done a great job of you know, putting this all together. We coach them really hard, and uh, the kids know it, and they've taken it. Well, Kent, uh, thanks for spending time with us today. Uh, season opener will be here sooner than we think. 11 days. 11 days. Kent, thanks again. You're welcome. Thanks.